Hi, my name is Ethan Estes. I am an artist and marine scientist in Santa Cruz, California. And I was a student artist in residence at Recology in the winter of 2011. And I was doing a master's program at Stanford University in environmental science at that time. When I was at Recology, I focused on telling stories about the ocean through the materials I was finding in the public disposal area. So I made a number of different marine creatures. I made an albatross, a whale tail sculpture, uh, a algae, a diatom sculpture, and uh, some other conceptual pieces. I would say the whale tail sculpture was the one I was most proud of. Uh, I was lucky to be part of the group show at the San Francisco airport with that large sculpture. And it was a fluke that I carved out of styrofoam and uh, plywood that I glued together with old flooring adhesive. And then I wrapped it with all of this old fishing rope I found in the trash. I was impacted by my time at Recology in several ways. I was first pretty depressed by the scale of the waste that I was being exposed to. And later on, I kind of had to look past that and became really stoked just to have this incredible opportunity to look for unique materials that, you know, this was stuff I was never going to see again. It was just so weird. And that's what um, I left with was this combination of, you know, understanding the how big of a bummer our society is in terms of its waste, but also saying, hey, there's so much potential. Really, that's what I've been doing with my career since I left Recology, is finding opportunities for material that people wouldn't maybe think of. For example, most of my work recently is uses old fishing rope that fishermen no longer need, and there's not it's not commonly accepted in recycling facilities. So basically, it goes to the landfill, and there is so much of this material. So I've started to make artwork from old fishing rope. But uh, sometimes I pick trash up off the beach in Hawaii and I'll make sculptures from that. One of the largest pieces I've made recently was a sculpture that was made entirely from trash collected off the beaches of Oahu. And that wave was interactive. It was a big barrel and you could stand inside of it. And just like at Recology, you could kind of visualize the scale of the problem. And hopefully that leads to an emotional reaction that gets people to care and to think about our waste disposal behaviors. My role as an artist is to communicate about the issues facing the ocean. I've been lucky to work professionally as a marine biologist and have had a lot of really cool experiences that have changed the way I view it. I think about the scale of the ocean, just how unfathomably large it is and the fact that we are destroying it nonetheless. And I think that the issue of waste and waste management is related to that and that we are producing so much waste, it is unfathomable. And therefore, it seems like we can't make a difference. But you do see that at Recology, every piece of trash, there was a conscious decision that somebody made that they needed that thing, and then they didn't need it. And so my role as an artist is to get people to think critically about these issues and get them to care. So yeah, I think the, there's endless potential for creative reuse, and I learned that at Recology.